Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to GVTV. I'm Austin Page. And I'm Jessica Flynn. Today we are joined by magician and comedian Ben Ewan. Ben, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. Good to be here. Ben, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm a professional magician from here in Des Moines. Uh, a lot of people might recognize me from Adventureland. I've been out there for 26 years doing a, a big stage show. I also do comedy clubs and corporate shows and uh, company picnics and you know, cruise ships and all kinds of things. So uh, nice to be here today. What kind, of, to have you. what kind of tricks are you going to show us today? Ah, uh -huh. well, I'll tell you what, let me rearrange it. We'll do, can we do a trick together? Uh, Austin, if I can get you on the other side of me here, is that okay? Perfect. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the, the four most overused words in magic. These are the four most overused words. Okay. You ready? Ready. Here, pick a card. Those are the four most overused words. Any card? Yeah, any card. I want you to pull out one that you can remember. You go ahead and... I'd like to show it to the uh, television audience. You can show it to Jessica as well. All right. Bring a chance to see. Good. Now, I've been doing magic for 37 years, and in 37 years, I've discovered one thing about card tricks. People hate it when a magician does this. <laughs> Nobody ever wants me to look at the card. I'm not really sure why. I like magic, too. I, why can't I look at it? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the card in the, in the deck a little ways down. All right, not very far. I'm going to show you how to use this little tiny white dot that's right there in the center of the back of the card. You probably never noticed it before, but that is an elevator button. The magicians had those installed back in the 70s just to make this trick easier to do. Now, I know you don't believe that, but let me show you. What you do, you push that little button like that, and then your card, whatever one it is, wherever it's at, rises up to, as though it was on an elevator, becomes the very top one. Now, I'm going to do this again, so keep your eye on that ace of clubs. We'll put that a little deeper in the deck like so. I can see how far down it is, yes? Yes. Would you care to push the elevator button for me? There you go, starts the elevator. Your ace of clubs goes here, it rises up through all those cards. Sometimes you can see that happen, it becomes a very top one. Well, I'll, I'll do it again here. We'll put that back in the center, you see how far down it is. I'm yeah. not faking that, right? You can see. Now let me cut it so I don't know exactly what's up. As long as it's on the top. Not there, not there. Austin, push the elevator button. Ding. There you go. Oop, I'm sorry, it's right in the very center. You gotta hit the little tiny button. It's, it's, it's small. Right you gotta, in the middle. Right in the middle, exactly. Right there. Perfect, there you go. Now we have, um, you know this isn't your fault, the elevator's out of order. Well, <laughs> well that happens. Well, how come? What, what, because it's out of order now. Okay. How do you get to the top floor if the elevator's out of order? Stairs. You take the stairs, of course you do. Here, let's just walk down the stairs and I'll see if I can find your card. It's gotta be in there somewhere, Austin. If I think I find it, I'll just walk it back up to the top. And <laughs> All right, we'll do this one more time, all right? Make sure that's still your card. Yeah. I haven't switched it for another piece of gloves or anything funny like that. Okay, uh, set it there for me. Now that places it right there. You just put it in the middle of the deck, not me, right? Could I get you to, will you hold out your hand for me? I'm just going to set that there for the moment. Hold out one hand for me, Jessica, put the other hand across it. I'm going to turn you just a little bit like this. This is a beautiful stage for magic. Do you know that? Look, that's, it's elegant. It's, it's well moisturized. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the cards now uh, on your hands. You don't need to hold them. We'll just let them rest there. But you need to push the elevator button for me. I think it's working now. I hope so. Yeah. If it's working, though, what happens if you, if you set the cards like this? How does the deck know where the top is? Well, it's an elevator. It always knows what to do. Jessica, I'd look at the cards if I were you. <laughs> yeah, not me. You look at the cards. Keep <laughs> looking at the cards. One card making oh, its way yeah. up out of the, 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 the <laughs> elevator and out of there. And uh, that's the elevator card trick. Wow. Yeah, wow, thank you. Thank, that's one. There you go. Applause is fine. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about magic, show you a trick. You want to learn how to do one? I would love to. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to show you with your help. Okay. Okay. Um, they brought me a chair here. Tell you what, I'm going to rearrange things yet again. Uh, can I have you just have a seat for me here? Yes. We've been standing for a long time. I'm getting kind of tired. Here's the thing about magic. I, I, there's a co very common reaction to magic. People come up and you, you do a trick for them, and their feeling is they, they go, wow, how'd you do that? You know, I hate watching magic. I can't ever figure out how it's done. It makes me feel stupid. We hear this a lot, and I hate that. Magicians hate that. No one, no magician wants to make people feel stupid. That's not entertainment. So the reason you feel stupid is because you think the trick's very complicated, usually. It's something above your understanding, and then you feel, you feel lessened by that, and that's not true. Magic works when you are more intelligent, because magicians play off your assumptions. The, more, the smarter you are, the more assumptions you have about the world, and the more we get to mess with that. So it's actually uh, harder uh, to fool children than it is to fool adults. And I can tell you right now, you cannot do card tricks for your dog. 
because they're not smart enough at all. No, okay. But I'm going to show you. It's usually something very simple, and this is the deal with uh, with magic. And I'm going to explain a little bit about it. We'll show you how to do a magic trick. I'm going to use these little things here. These are just goofy little uh, they're clown noses, or what they are. You cut them, and you would you take a look at them? Make sure they don't crumble up into little bits. Nothing. Let's look at it. Yeah, they're just little foam balls. I'm going to give you a bowl to put them in, so they don't get away from you here. There you go. And then uh, put that in your lap. Here's what's going to happen. I mean, hand me the one that's been slit there. Yeah, there you go, good. Now here's what's going to happen. We're going to kind of show everybody uh, uh, how to do a magic trick uh, 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 with your help. I'm going to start off by squeezing on the ball uh, like this. And then uh, actually I'm going to have you kind of follow along with me. You'll squeeze on this one. Okay. You've got to kind of hold it in the air, all right, so we can keep track of that ball the whole time. I'm going to bring out a magic wand. I don't have a real magic wand here. You can do this by just going to Walmart and picking up one of these jarts. They sell those. They do. Well, not these anymore. The metal tip, tip is now illegal. No, I was say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whatever you use for your magic wand, what you're going to do is you're going to tap very mysteriously on your friend's hand. You're going to tap very mysteriously on your own, and the ball will disappear from here. I'm sorry, the ball will disappear from there, and it'll appear over here. That's a pretty good trick, yes? Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome, man. However, if I tap here and tap back over here, it jumps back again. <laughs> it's a trick you can do. <laughs> it's a smart group. I gotta, I gotta show you face too. Now you tap twice on, on, on each hand, and the ball in my hand then disappears, vanishes without a trace, and believe it or not, now you have both of those balls. Open up your hand, look amazed. Yeah, there you go. Hold one in each hand, show them in the back rows. Come on, Jessica, get jiggy with it. Get down, come on. Do it like we do downtown. Help me get a little energy up here, girl. Come on, sell the show. There's two balls. Is there any doubt in anyone's mind I'm like a 50-year-old white guy? I don't look good doing this. I try, it doesn't work. All right, all right look, look, look. I'm gonna set this down here. We're gonna show you how to do this trick. Was that amazing? That was amazing. It was amazing because it happened to you. And hopefully you didn't feel stupid by that or dumb, it made you feel, wow, that's cool. I mean, that's what magicians want to do. Now we're going to break it down. It's always something simple that fools you. And it, it, this is, this, I'll show you. Here, hand me the, I'll take the one that's slit here. Folks, you're going to learn how to do a magic trick. You're going to see what's going on. You're supposed to. I, yeah. so, so when you see it, you, you to keep it a secret because we're going to try and use it to continue to work on the assumptions that Jessica's making. So, so watch carefully and you'll learn it. Um, and then I'll, I'll help her as we go along. I'm going to squeeze on this ball, I'm going to rub, and then you blow gently over the top of that. That's like waving the wand. Do you think that made the ball disappear? No. Would you bet on it? No. <laughs> Why not? You'd win a lot of money. <laughs> okay. If you have a hunch, you go with that. Okay, don't let me talk you out of stuff. Okay, here we go. Watch carefully, watch and learn. I'm going to start the ball, put it in my hand, I'm going to give it a little squeeze, a little rub, you blow, and the ball will seemingly disappear. Gone like magic. Do you have any idea where that ball's at right now? At the moment, it's amazing. But it's really very simple. You see, it's in my other hand. I, I, I switched hands on. You see, that was simple. It wasn't here. We'll do it again. I'm going to squeeze and rub, and then you blow. As you blow, watch the ball completely gone. Do you know where it's at now? Where would you guess? I guess in that hand. Yeah, that'd be a good guess, wouldn't it? But <laughs> boom! You see, something really simple got much bigger. Here, we'll do it again. This is Jessica, take two. <laughs> it's kind of like a sing-along. Anybody remember those? Oh, yeah. Rob, yeah. bouncing ball. <laughs> Watch carefully. I'm gonna try and fly. I'm gonna squeeze and rub. You blow. The blow starts the magic. The ball gone. Any ideas? The moment it's amazing, isn't it? That hand. It's a good guess. Yeah. See, now you're getting better at this. But I'll go. I'll go a little faster, so that'll make it a little harder. Blow and watch the ball. Boom! It's very simple, but it, it plays on assumptions that. Here, let's do it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna give you a chance. I'll. 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 I'll uh, I, I'm not a bad guy. I'm going to help. <laughs> Although I have no idea how the clowns keep that one on. No. It's just huge. This, I can't even get this in my hand, but I'm going to try it here. I'm going to need your help. Will you just take that hand there and tap on the back of my hand? Now, when you tap, watch that ball. Watch the magic happen. It hasn't happened yet. It's going to happen only in Jessica's mind. It's not what I do. It's the assumption that she has about what I do. That's amazing. You've got to <laughs> Boom! Here, we'll try it with the bowl this time. If I fool her with this, well, 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 we'll try it with this, 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 this thing, this table back here. You do her. Or, well, here's the problem. I need the wand. Will you grab the wand? Did I get that? Yeah. Take that wand and wave it now over the top of that bowl. Wave it as the bowl gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it too. Go, do you have any idea where the bowl's at? You can Maybe. look around. You go Maybe ahead. You want to frisk me? <laughs> I'll take that out of your hand. That's a weapon right now. We'll make the bowl reappear. Okay, that'll be cool. If I can't do that, I'll change myself into a little Jewish man. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Worked on the, in the car on the way over. 
Hold out your hands like so. We'll make the bowl reappear right there if it doesn't reappear. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna walk out of here looking very good. Are you ready? Uh, you count to three, let's make the bowl right there in your hands. Go ahead. One, two, three. Holy, <laughs> believe it or not, we're not on the heavens. I, 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 we, I think she deserves a big round of applause. Jessica, there you go. That's what magic is all about. It's something simple that becomes much bigger uh, because we're playing off your, your, your assumptions there. There you go. All right. You know what? I'm, I'm going to do another trick for you. Can I do one more? Will you help me out with this one? This is, uh, you can stay seated, sure. Um, this is an old kid's trick. Uh, uh, I got this in a magic kit when I was a little kid. Hang on to that one for you. Go ahead and pull on it, stretch on it, bite on it. We'll give, uh, don't bite on it. <laughs> I know where it's been. <laughs> Here, yeah. hold on to that one. That's kind of the medium length. Then I have a little short one here. Now, they're, they're, not, they're ropes. They're not rubber bands, right? You would agree with that? Great. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to create an illusion for you, an illusion that the three uh, uh, ropes are the same length. The only thing you know about them right now is that they're all different lengths. Yes. You, you know that for sure, right? But if I were to take up the top ends and do this and then kind of grab the bottom ends and do this, you might not know quite whether they were the same length or not, right? That'd be a, kind of an illusion, mm -hmm. not a very good one. Um, if I were to pull up the bottom ends, all right, and now, it, it, and, and kind of, this becomes an even better illusion that they might all be the same length, right? However, the best way to do this would be to take and kind of confuse uh, whether the, you know, the, the, the top ends were up or they were down, and then it would look like they were all the same length. You agree, that's a really good illusion? Do they look like the same length? Mm -hmm. You're sure? This one looks like it's the same length as that one? And that one would be about the same length as that one? Yeah, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's um, uh, hang on to an end for me. This is all an illusion. You've got to remember that, right? You want to hold on to the, the, that one there, too? There you go. That's the one in the middle. Here, I'll take the other end of that, and I'll kind of wrap it up in my, in my hand like so. And then this would be the other end of yours. And that's the other end of your, that one there. Okay. So remember, the whole thing was just an optical illusion. Because when we started this, you knew one thing about these three ropes. One of those was kind of short. Mm -hmm. One of those was kind of a medium length. And one of those was really, 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 really <laughs> long. Oh, wow. Thank you. Speechless. And there you go. All a little right. bit of magic here. To, yeah, take a look at them. And Thank you, Ben, for having or for being on the show today. <laughs>